because it starts uh, today with uh, with Major League awesome. Baseball, who delivered once again one of the instant classics, uh, which is what makes oh. anybody who says that baseball is boring. Uh, watch postseason baseball. Tell me how boring that sure. Yankee and uh, Guardians game was last night. Yeah, you be, you better be watching postseason baseball. There is nothing Ooh. like it, the atmosphere, the excitement in October. All right, we'll get to some playoff baseball right here, right now. Our preview of the doubleheader. But first, before we get our breakdown, we got to hear it from the public. Who wins game four tonight in the ALCS and game five in the NLCS? Put them together for a money line parlay. That was the question to all of you and fade the public. At Sports Grid on Twitter, who will win today's MLB postseason games? The Dodgers and the Yankees, the Dodgers and the Guardians, the two New York teams, Joe Ranieri, or maybe the Amazons and the Guards as well. At Fade the Public or at Sports Grid and the Fade the Public mm. poll. I do want to say, yesterday we asked the public what was the best bet for Thursday night football in New Orleans. Most of the public back in the Broncos laying two and a half. Cash, cash, ding, ding. Public, six and six this year. <laughs> Who would have thought? And even 500 right down the middle. So, Joe, the results of today's poll, they're back in the favorites. The Dodgers and the Yankees for the double header today. If that is correct, L.A. will be in the World Series with a National League pennant to hold and the Yankees will be just a single victory away from joining the Dodgers in what would be a monumental matchup in the fall classic but we ask you first Ranieri are you fading the public uh I am fading uh the public here because I think actually both underdogs win the games uh here today so I'll take the Mets and I, I am absolutely going to take the Guardians here to tie this series up I think uh, we've got seven games coming with Yankees, Guardians here, Ben. And I think uh, if the Dodgers are going to advance, they're going to have to do it in L.A. I don't think it's going to happen here at City Field. You know what, Joe? I want to believe, right? I just want more playoff baseball. I want to buy mm -hmm. in. Jack Flaherty, though, was unreal in the opening game back at the Ravine against the Mets. He gets the start tonight. We've got a game starting at 5 p.m. Eastern time. We've got a doubleheader on this Friday. It will only be one game tomorrow in Major League Baseball. We might not see another doubleheader for the rest of this season for however long it goes here in the playoffs. So appreciate it. Now let's start to break down the games, Joe Ranieri. Game number five tonight of the NLCS in Queens mm. at City Field. Again, Jack Flaherty, sensational in game one, gets the nod for Dave Roberts, trying to clinch a spot in the fall classic tonight. Minus 132, the price in favor of LA. David Peterson on the other side for New York. All hands on deck for Carlos Mendoza and the Mets. Seven and a half is the total. Joe, we have seen four consecutive overs. All four games so far in the LCS, at least eight total runs. You think the Mets saved their season tonight? How does New York get it done? Well, they got to get it done because they need uh, David Peterson to handle the lefties in the lineup here. They, he is the only lefty available to the Mets, I believe, here in this day. And they need him to handle Otani. They need him to handle Freeman if he plays. They need him to handle Muncy. Uh, he needs him uh, because they are... He's their one opportunity here to give the Mets an opportunity to play from in front. They can't be dropping down and being it's a five nothing game heading into the fourth inning. Uh, I do think Peterson, who has been exceptional, uh, much better, of course, against lefties uh, than righties. I expect him to have success against Otani uh, as well as Freeman if he plays and Muncy. That to me is. The biggest battle for the Mets. If he does it, gets through five, the Mets have the lead. The Mets will oh. have a very good shot at winning this game. So, Joe, I think that's a really sound point, right? Yesterday, second pitch of the game, Shohei Otani takes Jose Quintana yard. The Mets did respond with Mark Vientos in the home half of the first, but from there, 
it was really all Dodgers. Mookie Betts, two RBI double, a two-run home run. They added on from that point. Betts awake now in the NLCS. Shohei Otani back-to-back games with a long ball. Max Muncy is batting 500. Tommy Edmond has an RBI in all four games in the LCS. Batting 412, 7 for 17 at the dish. Seven ribbies in total. Kike Hernandez continues his prolific postseason. It is incumbent on David Peterson to slow down the offense for L.A. The Mets have been blanked twice. They have scored two runs as they did last night. The Dodgers have at least scored three in every single game. They got nine in game one, three in game two, eight in game three, double digits, 10 last night in game number four. Welcome back to our guy, Joe Ranieri, here on the early line. Luis, don't you dare call him another name. Heel. He mm-hmm. gets the start tonight in Cleveland, his playoff debut both this year and in his career for the pinstripes, taking on the Guardians, minus 118 on the money line. The Yanks, a short road favorite once again, as they were holding on to that favored number yesterday in Cleveland on FanDuel. Seven and a half is the total. The Guardians, the late game heroics out of John Kenzie Noel and David Fry. Does it carry over after walking it off into game number four? Yeah, well, I, I, I think it does, and, I, and here's why. I think the Yankees are in a worse spot bullpen-wise uh, than the Guardians are. The Yankees need heel to uh, – they're going to need length from him. They're going to need at least five, uh, hopefully six innings uh, because the Yankees yeah. had to go through another six relievers yesterday, including Luke Weaver, Tim Hill, uh, Clay Holmes – uh, that was what the second multi-inning game now for Weaver. Canale uh, also recorded five outs. Uh, they don't have a lot of options outside of Marcus Stroman if he runs into trouble early for long relief. So I think this yeah. is up to heel, but I do think runs are coming from both lineups here. I love the over, but I do think the Guardians have the edge in the bullpen, and I'll lean with them at home to tie the series. You would think the Guardians do have that edge, but what has happened mm. to Emmanuel Class A if Stephen yeah. Vogt can even get the game to that point for Cleveland? Heal this year, great in his rookie campaign, 15 and 7 with a 3 5 0 ERA, but did allow 10 earned runs combined in his final two starts of the regular season to end out September. 